up where we left off in the last video where we used the move and the pose tool to modify the proportions and now we are ready to merge these individual components together into one layer so in this case I'll keep the head separate so that as I'm working maybe in extremely high resolution detail I can cache the other parts that I'm not working on and that will preserve RAM as well as graphic card resources. So let's go ahead and do that now. There are a couple different ways to merge layers or sub-objects together in the voxel sculpting room and that is one, I can create a layer, a just a, an empty layer here, and if I want it to maintain the same level of resolution when everything's merged, then I probably want to go ahead and increase that layer okay enough and when it's blank like this you won't see you won't get any indication of how much RAM is going to be consumed because it just doesn't know 3d code does not know at this point I may make sure that it has enough okay so what I can do here is 3d code is going to basically merge all of these other layers together okay so all these will be undisturbed and it's just going to create a copy and put it in this particular layer so merged copy and all I have to do with this blank layer selected right click merge visible okay so I can now hide all these other layers As you can see, with this layer selected now, I can look at the bottom and see just how much resolution or how many polygons I have in this entire model. Okay. And also, when 3D code merges, especially if you're in volume mode, anytime you merge, if your objects are very close together, 3D code will try to actually connect them. So if I zoom in, with the four key for wireframe you can see where it combined these two together okay and so I can now go in and use the fill tool okay so I'm going to actually delete that layer okay and so I'm going to keep the alien head I'm going to keep that separate and actually have the neck parented uh, to it as well I'll hide that and what I'm going to do here is this is really just a control layer it's just an empty uh, layer but I can use it uh, to scale everything if I want and uh, so I'll go ahead and this upper body parent is the same okay it is just a control layer that I have a hierarchy or you know, child layers uh, parented to. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm simply going to right click and choose merge subtree. So that's essentially going to merge all the child layers into the parent layer. However, if you'll notice, the number that you see here is really the level of resolution I currently have on these layers. So if I were to do that, if I were to right click and choose merge subtree, I'm going to lose a lot of resolution that I have in these layers and it may be very rough. So I want to be careful. If I want to preserve this level of resolution, I need to make sure that the layer that I'm moving it to has you know, as much or more uh, resolution. So it's almost like you know, an adopted child uh, taking on its parents name okay and uh, the same goes here whatever resolution the parent has that's what the child is going to get when we merge all these together okay so keep that in mind so what I need to do is go ahead and give that enough resolution okay that matches up with these other objects in this case I don't have a lot of detail anyway, so I'm, I don't necessarily need to be overly concerned at this point. So I'm going to go ahead 
right click merge subtree okay and when I click on this it is no longer a an empty you know control layer as you can see at the very bottom I can see the the amount of polygons it's a little over 1 million when I zoom in I have a wireframe turned on I can turn it off with the 4 key I'll turn it back on and that appears to be fine and if I want to reduce or increase uh, an arbitrary level I can always go to the bottom under the command section and resample and I can use a slider to go up or down and I can see the original poly count here in this case uh, I don't want to mess with it but I did want to show if I wanted to go up I could or down either one All right. so now I'm going to turn off symmetry for now I don't really need that so I'm going to show the other method of merging and that is to hover over the layer that you want to move I'm going to hold the shift key right over that icon I'll hold shift and drag it onto the layer I want to merge it with so again I need to be very careful that the layer I'm moving wherever I'm moving it to it's going to get that level of resolution now this is one object and so I have the upper lower and I could opt to uh, kind of keep these separate if I want in this case I'll probably go ahead and merge them all together so I'll do that again I'll shift click and drag the leg layer onto this other layer for the upper body okay so with that done I can now look at my polygon count it's about one and a half million polys okay so what I'm going to do now is hit the 4 key to turn off wireframe and I'm going to use the fill tool I'm going to select a solid brush because it tends to perform better hit the S key to turn symmetry on I'm going to uncheck show symmetry plane I can see that symmetry is indeed on because there's a little red dot on the opposite side now it will start to fill this in now sometimes if the fill tool isn't sufficient for you the grow tool will do much the same and part of the reason for that is because grow also smooths while it's performing an operation you see so it kind of connected them at the same time so probably with grow probably would want to bring right click drag down and drag up and down to increase or decrease the intensity or the depth bring it down and just lightly stroke over it so that in its own right acts as a fill tool as well so again if the fill tool is not performing as as well as you want you could switch to that but I'll go back to the fill tool I have it cranked way up so that it's it works the way I expect it to and I could do this in surface mode as well but I find it's again it's more forgiving when working in volume I've mentioned that before is that volume mode or voxel mode has its its own benefits and it also has its own trade-offs so you want to use the two different modes you know switch back and forth as you need you know to utilize their their strengths okay so from this point forward I'm going to speed up the playback of this video in order for you to be able to see the process but yet uh, keep from taking up an excessive amount of your time so all I'm doing here is just using the fill tool to continue to fill in the crevices as well as the smooth tool uh, to polish up some of the rough spots. I'll start using some of the regular brushes to do a little bit of sculpting and I'll add a bullet point uh, where uh, I feel it's needed.
Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'll stop here. In the next video, we're going to do a little bit more work like this, but I'm going to start on the horns on the head because I'm going to start fleshing out the, the overall look here. So we'll see you in the next video.